What do England need to do to make sure that what happened on day one, the first ball, doesn't set the tone for this series this year? Well, I think you heard Ollie Pope there saying that the key is not getting too down. It's not getting too ahead of themselves at this stage. It is only two sessions of an Ashes series. And it's really important this England team, they'll have planned well. Um, they'll have had a lot of good thoughts about coming into this series, but it, it was the most disastrous start you could possibly have. Lose a wicket, first ball, um, all that planning, all that preparation goes out the window at that moment. And, and look, let, let's, you could spend a lot of time talking about the toss of the coin. I still think it was the right decision to bat first. Um, and what they've got to realise now is that both teams have got to bat on this surface. So England have got to come back strong tonight. Um, and get early wickets. And if they do, they're right back in this game. Yeah, I mean, normally the rule is, isn't it, bat first if you win the toss at, at, at the gavel. We've seen that go wrong in the past with, with Nasser Hussain famously. But, you know, let's just spin that around, shall we? I mean, Pat Cummins said it was 50-50. Had England chosen to bowl first, do you, do you feel that they would have made similar inroads? We, we've got two sides here where arguably the bowling units are really the strength of both sides, Paul. Yeah, and it could quite easily have been that way. But at the time, Pat Cummins said he would have batted. Um, and, you know, it's always easy to look back and say, you should have batted, you should have batted. I'm a big believer in 99% of the time you bat first in the Test match. You're making your mark. You've won the toss. We're batting first. We're going to drive this game forward as a team batting first. And I think that was a really important um, stance that Rooty took when he made that ball, winning the toss. So, look, don't look back at... The toss of the coin. Look back at the way England batted. They got undone by the bounce of the ball more than sideways movement. And as I say, from a disastrous first ball, you know, they never really got themselves into a position where they had a foothold in the game. Um, and that's why they've, they've got to be, they've got to be clear in their heads that they've got to come back strong tonight, that they'll get a chance with the ball, with a brand new ball to make early inroads. And if they do that, they put, in, uh, they put the Australians under an awful lot of pressure. And, of course, we will see the quality, hopefully, of Joe Root in the field as, as a captain when it comes to day two and, and England's response with the ball. But what about losing him for a duck? And once again, to, to Josh Hazelwood, is, is that a, a duel in some ways that might define this series? I think there's going to be lots of duels in this series. I, I think, you know, the Root wicket is the one that the Australian team want to get and, and I thought they bowled brilliantly to him you know the way that Hazelwood got close to the stumps tried to get a bit of shape he then used the crease went a bit wider angled into Rooty's off stump it was a decent delivery it was a very very good delivery and I don't think Joe would look back on that and say he had too much option but to play at that ball but there's going to be lots of duels now I mean the, the start to Burns one is going to be a big duel isn't it how he plays him how he gets over that so th th there's an awful lot of little duels within this big duel between the two teams. Now, would you have rested both James Anderson and Stuart Broad first time in 15 years in an Ashes test that neither of them has played? No, I, I was massively surprised. I, I don't like to be too negative, having been in, you know, the England dressing room, having been part of selections uh, and picking teams. And it's really, again, it's really easy to look back. But, you know, I said yesterday morning that, you know, Broad had to play for me. Um, I, I don't think Ben Stokes will have bowled enough overs to be able to be the fourth seam in a four-man attack. And I thought England wouldn't play Jack Leach in this game. I thought with the extra bounce, they would play five seamers. Um, and you need the experience of, I think, Broad in this team. So I, I was hugely surprised at the toss last night when I heard that Stuart Broad wasn't playing in the game. Well, we mentioned that the strength of the, of the bowling attacks... Hopefully for England, they, they can do to Australia what was, was done to their own batting lineup. What hopes do you have when you look at the bowling attack that England do have? And particularly, Paul, if I mentioned, mentioning Ollie Robinson here, you know, what, what inroads can they make? And, you know, they've got something at least to bowl out with, with 147 all out. It's not much, but, you know, there's something in this pitch and the, the bowling attack is strong. Well, I think what the, what the England bowlers will be doing, they'll have talked to the batsmen, they'll have watched, obviously, all of the deliveries during the day, and they'll be saying, you know, if, if we can just hit that good hard length around the top of off stump, we're right in this game. And, that, and that's what England need to do. They need to remind themselves that in Chris Wokes, they've got someone who really is at the peak of his powers and bowling well. Ollie Robinson had a fantastic summer and, and is very confident. We've seen that. You know, he genuinely believes he should be playing Test cricket. Mark Wood has got an opportunity to show that he has got 
high quality pace and, and he said he's never played in Australia so this is his opportunity to show what he's capable of and then of course Ben Stokes into the side who gives this team a fantastic lift just by being there so England have got four very good bowlers um, and they have got the opportunity now to do something about it and, and what it needs is slips to back them up and take their chances when they hit the edge they've got to make sure that they take their chances because that's something that Australia did really well they took their chances so, look, England definitely have the opportunity to get them back in this game. There is no doubt about it. Paul, I went to bed at 11 for three inside six overs last night. But uh, speaking to you this morning, I'm very much enjoying your positive vibes. I am here for it. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to Thank us you. this afternoon.